Hi, welcome back to Gibbs Adventures. In today's episode, we're making maple syrup. So I'm gonna learn how to tap trees. Never done this in my life. I make, I'm pretty well making it up as I'm going here, but I've watched a few YouTubes. I have a few buddies that make it and I've asked them how to do this and that. And so follow along on my venture today. So guaranteed, I've never done this before in my life. My buckets, they're all ready to go. I have my spiles ready to uh, to uh, tap. I also have my drill bit measured off for the depth of the hole that I want. And I'm bringing a tape measure and a spare rub battery just so I don't run out. So right along here today and you'll see I'm gonna set up 10 different uh, maple trees across the road from my house. And uh, we'll see what happens here. You can see how immediately it's starting to run. So, good sign. It's only the second tree I've ever tapped in my life. So, here we are. So the saps are running. So first thing I, I'm doing is uh, I make a trail into the box or into the tree. I think I'm trapping here. <laughs> I make a trail in so I can get in and out and I tap it and then I place her in the bucket and you can see this one's already flowing pretty good here. So I think I'll have to get some lids here otherwise I'm going to get a little bit of debris in here but uh, you can see it Drip, drip, drip. So here we go. Still lots of snow, and if the weather holds, we should have a pretty good uh, syrup run here. So, I'm trying to pick trees as close to the trail as possible. This is a dandy, so I want to get over to it here, but you can see the snow is easily. Uh, up to my knees yet. So I have to make a kind of have to make a road into it. So here we are. Good to go. So 
So I got about a third of a pail and half of it's ice because uh, we had four inches of snow yesterday. So it doesn't, it's spring, but it doesn't want to be spring yet here. Had me a lid, lid there. So I'm adding lids because uh, yesterday I had to dig snow out of my boxes or my pails. So just adding the lids. And we'll see. So when I started into this, I thought, well, you know, it's going to be easy. I'll just tap a few trees, but, uh, like anything, when you want to jump into something, there's a bit of a learning curve. My philosophy is always to uh, to go kind of big or go home. So I bother I bother to get the right pails, and then I got the lids and, and whatnot. Probably for 20 pails for for the stuff that I have so far, the 20 pails, the uh, the carrying pails, the filters, the thermometer. I probably spent uh, $400 now getting it ready Canadian. So. You could do it a lot cheaper, but like I said, I like to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it right and I get the right stuff. So, And the other thing is, if you're not sure what you're doing, go on YouTube and keep looking at uh, different videos until you figure it all out. Because everybody does things a little bit different and take what's the best from everybody and figure it all out. So there you go. So I collected another probably 19, 20 liters today or four gallons and uh, it's been about the same for the last two days but the weather is not really cooperating. It's still too much winter here. It'll get better when it gets to five, six, seven, eight degrees during the day um, Celsius of course and uh, then it'll really start, start slowing but it, it's giving me a chance to figure out how to do this right. So today I brought two pails instead of one because one full pail is just too much to carry so today I have two pails and I made sure they're food grade pails so it's a lot easier to balance for an old guy like me just to turn it down for a second and uh, show you how it's boiling down here it's, as it boils down it starts to turn browner Hopefully you can see that. And then you might get a little bit of scum on the top, so you have to keep skimming, skimming it off. But so far I'm so good here. But uh, that was basically up to there. And you can see it's mostly water, but it's turning brown, so we're getting there. A couple more hours we'll get close. I'm just putting my lid on with big cracks so it steams out just so it kind of heats up a bit more because it's windy and cold today. So we're at the final stage here. I got to get it to 200 and 
19 degrees and uh, that'll mean that it's uh, it'll boil 7 degrees above boiling so 219 water boils at 212 at 219 we have syrup syrup boils at 219 so I have to be really careful this is how you finish it so that's uh, like a day's worth a day and a half worth of boiling here so hopefully I don't screw it all up here at the end I'm not making lots, but uh, interesting process, just about there. Homemade maple syrup, tapped, boiled, and made into sap by myself, or syrup by myself. Well, thanks for watching this episode. I've learned a couple of things here that I didn't know before. One thing is the difference between a basswood or, or a maple, uh, sugar maple tree. I also learned that uh, there's a store just north of Barrie and it specializes in, uh, in um, maple syrup or in tapping stuff. All, anything you'd ever want to know about how to tap for uh, maple syrup, they have the right products. It's just north of, uh, of uh, Barrie heading towards Aurelia. Check it out, and I also can find stuff at TSC stores, and my local uh, in North Bay here, my local uh, Pro Hardware has uh, maple syrup uh, tapping equipment. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. More to come.